Congresswoman Jane Kiggins says it's a great honor to be selected to serve on the House Armed Services Committee. In her first sit down interview since taking office, Kiggins said today she will work hard to support the Navy and Hampton Roads shipyards. And she talked about the rash of suicides that hit the Navy in 2022 and what she plans to do about it. Here's Mike Gooding. The Navy spent $15.8 billion in Hampton Roads during the 2020 fiscal year, according to the 2022 Annual Economic Impact Report from Commander Navy Region Mid-Atlantic. It just speaks to the importance of the military to this district. In her first sit-down interview since taking office, Kagan's told me that looking out for the troops as well as the private industries which support the Department of Defense, such as Hampton Roads shipbuilding and ship repair yards, will all be top-of-mind concerns for her. So for whoever represents that second congressional district seat, uh, which is, it's a great honor to be to have been selected, uh, that will be my, my priority in Congress uh, this year and, and every year is to be an advocate and a voice for, for that group of people. Kiggins also said she is very concerned about the two clusters of sailor suicides last year, which claimed seven lives. It is a priority of mine. It, you, watch, we are now formulating our first piece of legislation that, that I will produce, and we're talking to not only those commands uh, and a lot of the mental health providers who have come in, but, uh, but the family members of some of those deceased sailors. You know, we're, we're having those conversations so that we can put some po policy forward that will improve their access to care, ensuring that they get the initial treatment, the follow-up care. There's a, a lot of room for improvement. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now. Representative Kiggins is not Hampton Roads only member on the House Armed Services. First District Congressman Rob Whitman is in line to be vice chairman of the overall panel and chairman of the Tactical Air and Land Forces Subcommittee.